This custom map is called Perk or Weapon. We're starting out with literally nothing, only our fists. And as the map name suggests, we get a perk or a weapon when we go into one of these rooms down this corridor. So um, I'm kind of terrified already. We've got blue-eyed zombies, that's kind of unique to see. We're playing as what looks like the original Primus Richtofen, because he's got like the knight armor. So round one done. We open this, we'll either get a perk or a weapon. What's it gonna be? Ooh. Oh, you can choose. Wait, can you choose? Open weapon door or open perk door? So I kind of want to go for weapon. And we got a 1911. Wait, really? I mean, I suppose it's better than nothing. Oh, it seems to actually do more damage than usual. Yeah, it's like two shotting them. What the fuck? I can appreciate a slightly stronger 1911. Oh my god. Hello, hello, hello. Flipping hell, almost downing me. But yeah, the entire concept of this map is pretty awesome. So yeah, you see how we've got the gun here. You can buy ammo, of course, which is nice. But you cannot interact with this side at all. Fuck, I'm killing the zombies too quick because the, the pistol's too good. It's a one-shot headshot, bro. Shit, I mean, not complaining. Double points, hell yeah. Like a one-shot in the chest and a knife and it's a kill. Just... <laughs> A starting pistol. Well, I mean, I guess it's technically not a starting pistol, but... Well, let's open up the next door. We're gonna go for a perk this time, because we don't really need a gun. It's called the animation, with a little warden's key. Uh, okay, perk. We got dead shot. Seriously? Oh, this is what I deserve, I suppose. I mean, fuck it. It's 1250 and not 1500, which is interesting. But, like, why not just go for dead shot, I suppose? we got cool little custom perk icons in the in the bottom left over there. Oh, it's a 1911.45. Interesting. Very cool aesthetic to this map as well, I might add. Looks a little bit like, I don't know, Zetsubo, but sort of daytime instead. Oh, we've got some kind of a, a mountain over there. Is this taking place on... It could be a Dead Ops arcade map. But they've just, like, ported into first person. That would be kind of sick. But anyway, next door, 1500 Oh, they're getting more expensive. I kind of want to go for a perk again, dude. PhD flopper. I mean, at this point then, I guess we'll keep the 1911 because it means when we pack a punch it, we're going to have explosion protection or whatever. Oh, we got the BO4 minigun. Let's go. It even puts like fire on them when you shoot them that's kind of sick get the fuck out of here boy yeah this feels like a death machine that's for fucking sure we're gonna insta kill don't mind if i do oh we can't switch back to our fists which i was kind of hoping we could so you could just like i know it would be a one hit only on round one anyway but it's a cool concept you don't really get to use your fists in zombies ever but okay i mean let's open a door i mean do we want to get a perk or are we going to go for a gun because i kind of want a secondary a dr <laughs> A dragon off. You're really gonna do me dirty like that game, huh? Fine, I'll play by your rules. Fuck it, dude. Dragon off it is. How bad could it possibly be? It doesn't seem to have any recoil, so that's that's already a, a plus. We've got insta kill anyway, so we could just knife a little bit. Oh, a max ammo. Don't mind if I do. They don't spawn behind us, which I really appreciate. All right, boom. Is that the round? No, not quite. Last few zombies being slight. There we go. Get the nuke. Four thousand points. Oh, my next door's 3,000. Oh, brilliant. I mean, we have two guns, so fuck it. Perk again, mule kick. Oh, it just, <laughs> it just hates me, dude. It really does. I was really hoping we could get a perk because I want to get Jug. So far, we only have Deadshot. I don't even know if it's the BO4 Cold War Deadshot. It could just be the really shitty version, but I mean, sniping isn't the worst, all things considered. I say that and I'm missing like every shot. You, oh... The fucking, the ducking ones do. Oh, a double points. Don't mind if I do. The hip fire is really shit. Okay, we're not going to do that again. I'm kind of curious how the, oh, never mind. The hip fire is godly. What am I saying? What the fuck? Oh, it's because we have dead shot, isn't it? Because on PC, it makes your hip fire better. Ah, the more you know, dude. Well, shit. Do we buy a mule kick? There's no point. We only have two guns available anyway. I guess we'll just pick up this death machine. Oh, running with the death machine looks cool. It's like the BO4 animation. Here we go, dude. See, I want Treyarch to add these kind of maps, like these kind of just fun game modes into actual zombies. So for COD 2024, could we please see just very small, unique maps like this? Like, they can't be that difficult to make, you know? But conceptually, they're a really fun, fresh idea. All right, let's try the pistol. How is it? Two-shot headshot for a 1911. Really not that bad. Oh, now we got an insta kill. Oh, fucking hell, that lunge put me in front of that wall. <laughs> that was close. All right, another door. Let's see what we're going to get this time. Cost me 4,000 bloody points, but whatever, dude. What's we going to get? Perk? I'll go perk. 
Juggernaut, let's go. It's called Juggernog, but I remember everyone used to call it Juggernaut back in the day. So now we've got that, we kind of don't even need to worry about perks at all for a while. Next one I want to get is Mule Kick, and then we're going to get, I guess, Weapon for the next door. Boom, dude, there we go. Jug. Nice custom perk icons. Oh, the triple collat. Let's go. Round 10. Oh, the custom round as well. I didn't even notice that on the top left. How much is Mule Kick? Where even is it, dude? 3,000. Why am I hearing up? A... What is that? Oh, what? Oh, I see the pack punch down there. What? Oh, it's a... A, a blood... A, a, a zombie blood just dropped from the sky? There was like a siren and then I just gave it that? Okay, cool. Nice. I'm a bit lost for words after that, to be honest. Death machine. Don't mind if I do. They're all going to the center as well. Oh, beautiful. It's making it easy for me, game. A link to this map will be in the description, of course, if you want to check it out for yourselves. I wonder if there's a perk limit because I don't want to buy PhD just yet unless, like, we know for certain. But, ah, it's 1500, bro. Fuck it. It just looks really cool. The way all the perks have got that slight, like, subtle color through them. Oh my god. Yeah, dead shot. Unironically, pretty good purchase. When I'm standing still, I'm pretty much hitting most shots, which isn't bad for a sniper. Oh, a double point as well. Hell yes. I'm curious if we get double tap, is the 1911 just going to completely one shot all the zombies on round 11 like you know there we go double points nuke extra 800 points or i guess 400 let's buy this door five bloody k i mean yeah we're gonna go for a weapon this time ak-47 fuck yeah dude we need it 1500 not bad an actual full auto gun don't mind if i do yeah i'd highly suggest playing this map if you want a fun little challenge this is what i live for dude just fun small casual experiences i mean i like challenging too i wouldn't say it's fully casual i'm sure if you get really bad rng you could just get the worst perks and guns imaginable i mean i didn't get two great guns but dragonov kind of surprised me a little bit now i don't know if the guns and perks are like set for each one so like you'll always get the 1911 from this one you'll always get dead shot from this one but hopefully it's random every game but you know even if it's not it's still cool oh we got a oh yeah custom perk drop what the fuck or like custom uh drop of some kind is that a ray gun it's just gonna give me a ray gun for free i mean fuck the 1911 then gimme gimme don't mind if i do that phd flopper actually coming in handy i mean we should have kept our 1911 for when we upgrade it but I suppose it's not a big deal. Should have got rid of a Dragonov, but to be honest, kind of a beast. I, I give the Dragonov some love. Let's look at this dude. Just hip fire central. Can we hit them? Okay. There's a slight range, but it is still pretty decent. 10,000 points next door. I mean, we do not need guns. I mean, let's just go for a fucking perk. Where is it? This one. Speed, cola. Hell yes. 2,000 points, and there's no perk limit. Absolutely perfect, dude. Honestly, this kind of really fits my playstyle of zombies, because what I do is I go for, like, a full auto gun, just something decent enough to get points, and then I just focus on all my perks. And that's pretty much how I play most maps. And it's meant that I've been a bit more consistent ever since I've started doing that, so... Got a max ammo here. It doesn't actually reload our gun. It's the only downside to this map so far. Oh, we got a death machine. Didn't even notice, dude about to run out. I like how the doors get progressively more expensive as well. Oh, we're pretty close to that packet punch machine. It looks like we only have two, three more doors. Okay. Just spray the fuck down here. Boom. Could just sit still. <laughs> well, just gaming right now. How's your guys' days going? I just want to make a quick announcement as well. I posted it on my YouTube community page, but I'm going to be taking part in something called T-U-Z-T, Tuzzed or T-U-Z-T. I don't know how you want to pronounce it. Obviously depends if you're American, British, blah, blah, blah. But it's the Ultimate Zombies Tournament Season 3. I'm going to be a contender. I'm probably going to come dead last. Like, it would not surprise me, but who knows? I mean, I've never really experienced a tournament kind of thing with zombies before, but I'm definitely excited to give it a try. I think some of the challenges are going to be duos. I think some of them will be solo. I'm not sure. It could all be duos. Either way, it's still cool. Oh, what are we getting this time? The first time it was a drop, then it was a gun. Oh, fuck, hello. We got an, in an insta-kill and a death machine. I mean, happily take this. Can it pull out any slower? Not bad, not bad. You know, the only downside to picking up that ray gun is we don't have a wall buy for it, so we can't buy ammo, but eh. You know, it's no biggie. Oh, I just realized I'm a dumbass. I can I, I can just buy the 1911 over there. I was thinking it was the starting pistol. So like when we got rid of it and I said, oh, I wish I got rid of the Dragonov instead. I just can totally do that. Not a big deal at all, really. Oh, we have so many fucking points. Are you the last one? All right, Dragonov, go bye-bye. Hello, 1911 again. 
I mean, we could have kept hold of it for a little bit because we can't pack a bunch of gear anyway, but whatever. Perk time. What are you going to give me? Double tap. Hell yeah. That was what I was hoping for. Fuck yes. I even got the custom animation for like the random perk. But yeah, this Ultimate Zombies tournament, it should be fun. I'll probably leave a pinned comment or something just ex like to the video because I think the announcement video is dropping on Sunday, which will be when this video drops as well. So if you are curious, that should have all the information. It's going to be taking place over this next coming week. I'll be recording my gameplay of the challenges or whatever, however many I do. I was going to live stream them, but at the same time, I kind of just prefer recording overall. I do plan on doing some live streams here and there, but probably when I move into my dad's place, I still haven't like fully got around to that yet because of uh, the bullshit rash developing and a bunch of other things sidetracking me. All right, can we afford one more door? How much is this one? 8,750, not bad. I'm curious what the guns would be up here, but oh, okay, widows. I mean, what other perk could we need? It's literally gonna be like quick revive, isn't it? So maybe we just say fuck it. No quick revive run. This last door, I'm guessing it's 10,000. Yep, 10,000. So what we're going to do is save up 15,000. Oh yeah, I'm stupid. There is no more uh, doors to like choose a perk or a gun. Hopefully they can't start spawning all the way down there because that would be a bit tragic. But still, round 18. Holy. That's why I love these maps though. They go by quite fast. But they're still challenging in a sense and they're still fun, of course. Oh, well, that's, that was a pretty fast fucking round. Jesus. Oh, we got some kind of a drop back in the spawn. And what's this going to be? A max ammo. I mean, not bad. But I'm not really going to risk my life for it, I don't think. Ah, fuck it, I will. Fuck it, dude. Ooh, we don't have stamina, but that's one of the perks we don't have. But, like, it's a fucking long corridor anyway. Do we need stamina? Not really. God bless PhD flop rocker. Just fucking spam this shit like a maniac. Not a care in the world, dude. We can almost afford Pack-A-Punch. I'm going to go for the Mustang and Sally. Or whatever this version's going to turn into. I guess we should use our, um, what's it called? AK-47. Oh yeah, let's try it out. The, um, 1911. Yep, it's like, eh, maybe a three, four shot. It's not amazing, but it's still not terrible, considering we're on round 19, you know? Like, I'm pretty comfortably killing all these zombies. Right, there we go. Pack a punch time! Last door open. Come on, key. Can you go any slower? Boom. There we go, dude. And before it's not the Mustang and Sally. Oh, it is. Thank God. Now, do they spawn over here? Please tell me they don't. Nope, we're good. Hell yeah. There's no secrets around here. Don't think so. But <laughs> just, oh, so chaotic. I love them. It's been a while since we've used the Mustang and Sally. So fuck it, dude. Why not? Oh, do we have more ammo in each uh, magazine as well? I think we do. The left one has 12. The right one has eight. That's strange. I wonder if there's a difference in the damage or something, but that wouldn't make too much sense. Oh, we have a max ammo too. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Just fuck it, dude. Spray the shit out of them. Love it, dude. Oh, I wasted a bit too much ammo, but it's fine. And we can afford to pack a punch our... Oh, hello, zombie. You know, honestly, I like the AK, but let's give the uh, dragon off some love again. Let's buy it. A sniper with a really long corridor like this. I'm calling it a corridor. I guess it's still a corridor, but it's like, you know, it's open. Long walkway, I guess, is more accurate, but oh shit, this has no recoil at all. Holy shit. The D115 Dismemberer with this cool, uh, it's, what's this camo called from multiplayer? I forget. You can get it out of the black market, I think. I think I have it myself, but it looks so cool. Yeah, like, <laughs> I could just play one-handed, just, just casually, just sniping all the zombies from all the way down here. Don't have to be the most accurate person in the world. There's so many drops back there, though, dude. Oh, and a death machine. Don't mind if I do. Let me guess, is it going to end the round? Oh, it actually didn't. Oh, there we go. Max ammo and a nuke. Oh, we got a drop of some kind. What's this going to be? I love that animation, too. It's like, uh... The way it falls, it looks like the Garod Crovey thing. Oh, we got a free perk. Don't mind if I do. What's this going to be? Electric Cherry. I mean, not awful, especially on an insta-kill. It's better than nothing. Electric Cherry is kind of like one of the uh, statistically worst perks ever. I mean, it's not awful, but on BO3, it's kind of just not very useful. You have Widows, which is just infinitely better. It'll save you more on a map like Mob of the Dead. Or even in BO4 with like the uh, electric cherry modifiers and shit. Than it will on BO3. That's not to say I don't like the perk. You know, it's cool. You have a little zap of lightning every time you uh, reload. And it stuns the zombies. But it's never usually like game changing when you get it. Chances are you'll have maybe one out of a hundred games where it's like, Oh my god, electric cherry just saved my ass there. You know, whereas Widow's Wine would be one out of every one game, you know. 
it's going to save you pretty much every time you buy it. So yeah, we've pretty much completed the map. I guess we'll just uh, survive for as long as we can. There's no quick revive, so fuck it, dude. What's the worst that could happen? Let's just like stay in this area. Pew, 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 pew. I, I keep seeing comments of people saying pew, pew, pew as well. Because I've noticed that I do, I like say it out loud while I'm shooting. I don't need to. I don't know why I do it. It's just kind of a uh, a reflex of my voice, I guess, is a way of wording it. just love the chaos. I could just train in a little circle like this, not a care in the world. Oh, wait, yeah, you can buy ammo for the 1911. So let's say I spray the shit out of this fucking, this fucking gun. Absolutely just waste all my ammo. Let's go over here. 3,000 points. That's it. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's kind of broken. I mean, if I had the time right now and it wasn't half three in the morning, I'd be like, fuck it, dude, let's go for round 100. And also the fact that my recording would be about 500 gigabytes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's the only issue with recording in 1440p. The file size is massive and also the uploading takes much longer. I mean, when I move to my dad's, the uploading will be a bit quicker. But I think it's all worth it for the quality at the end of the day. Considering it's half three in the morning as well, I'm kind of like, as Walter White would say, I am awake. Let's use the ray gun a little bit. Fuck it. Let's see how it is. Pretty trash overall. I got, let me take a pack a punch it, honestly, so we can get maybe a cool camo. That would be uh, that'd be nice. Let's just see if you can double pack a punch the 1911. You can't, Sag. Oh, hello, last zombie. How's it going? <laughs> do we get... Oh, we do. We get the cool, like, golden sparkly camo. That's sick. Oh, we've got another drop of some kind. What's this going to be? Even the pack a punch version still do to infinite ammo. Okay, I mean, I don't mind if I do. Wait a minute. Infinite ammo. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. I'm probably going to break my goddamn game, but it's all worth it. I can't see shit. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh, it's, it's a real wonder why they didn't put infinite ammo in Treyarch zombies. Like, I understand that it was in exo zombies, and that was real cool, but... Why not just put it into regular zombies? I mean, was it in Cold War? I don't think it was. My brain is kind of fried right now, but who knows? Pew, 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 pew. Just ch chomping around. Pew. Can't even, they can't even get over the walls. So fucking fun. 3,000 points. Don't mind if I get all my ammo back. Thank you very much. All right, let's give the Reagan some love. Still like, it's like a two shot, bro. It's just... The Reagan in BO3 is so underwhelming. I mean, it, it is in BO1 and BO2 as well, but at least you get PhD flopper and like, sure, I have PhD now, but after round 25, it just becomes pretty useless. Like, sure, I'm able to just stand here in the middle of the horde and I'm kind of okay, but it's mainly because of Widows and God bless PhD splash damage, you know. I think what we'll do is when we get to round 30, we'll call it there. Either that or if we somehow die before then, but with how broken we are right now and getting a max ammo, yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. Let's get this death machine. <laughs> and we can just sit here. Easy peasy. I don't even have to move my mouse. I could literally just like, if I go to one of the, uh, like this one, I could just literally, I'd, I'm, I'm moving away from my keyboard. I'm not even playing. I'm just holding down left mouse and then running into it. Quite hilarious, not going to lie. Oh, we got an insta kill. Don't mind if I do, because this has stopped one-shotting, but since you can spam it really fucking fast, it doesn't even matter anyway. AoE plus insta kill. Very, very nice. AoE means area of effect, if you were curious. I know sometimes I drop, like, random phrases. Like, AoE, I kind of know from playing MOBAs like League of Legends. Sometimes I say these things, and you're probably like, what the fuck is he on about? Oh, we got another one of those goddamn drop thingies. What is this one gonna be? We got a pack-a-punch. Okay, I mean... It doesn't really do much. Can we put a... Nope. It, I was thinking you could put like a uh, alternate ammo type on our secondary, but no. Can we even double pack a punch for Dragonov? You can't. There is no double pack a punch in this. Interesting. I mean, no biggie because when you can fucking just spray like this, not a big deal. But actually then, I don't think round 100 would be possible because even if you could buy ammo, the Mustang and Sally eventually is going to stop one-shotting. Still though, oh, just... <laughs> oh my god. Very, very fun map, not gonna lie. Let's go ahead and grab that nuke, see if we can end the round. There we go, 29. One more to go. The recording's at 32 minutes, and we're on round 29. That's almost a round a minute. Not bad at all, dude. All right, this last round. Mustang and Sally only. Fuck it, dude. Spray the shit out of this. Goodbye, ammo. Oh, and back into the action. Just right, right click, left click, right click, left click, right click, left click. Oh my god, that's a tongue twister. So fucking broken, dude. All right, need more ammo. Boom, there we go. What chaos, bro. Oh, and a max ammo. Don't mind if I do. Thank you so much, game. Very kind of you. 
because I was totally struggling before. <laughs> oh, the chaos. Oh, I'm going to go for another ammo run. Boom. Oh, it gives you full magazines anyway. That's nice. Oh, and an insta kill. It's done. Round 30. There we go. So I hope you guys have all enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out this map, honestly. Really, really fun. And maybe check out this video on your screen right now. YouTube says you might like it. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video.